Hello and welcome to this week's tips and tricks video. This week we'll be going to be covering summoning metas and types of summons that you can summon with on Sanctum Falls. Also sorry I haven't been posting content this week as I've been ill and pretty much been bedbound so I will continue from this week onwards making more content and I should actually schedule it so you'll always got new content coming out even when I am ill but I haven't been keeping on track of that. But anyway I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you learn more. So to start off with I'm going to talk about baby creatures and pre class I'll talk about Clash later on. So moving on to A point. So A point, I would I highly recommend taking a Cerberus more than a Cyclops. Um, mostly because the Cerberus will give you vision of your whole backline, while a Cyclops will only block off the path between A and you know the um, secret area just behind the Guardian. So that long footpath where the pillars are. So along there. So that's where it'll only block off it, it'll block off the end. So that's why this is not really practical because an enemy can just jump around it. But it's ideal if you want to take. But a Cerberus will give you a vision of your most of your backline so you can't be PvE'd by like assassins. So that's ideal for that situation. Moving on to B, I recommend summoning a Bloomer, a Cyclops or a Cerberus on this point. A Bloomer will spawn heal orbs up by C. This will offer you heals to fall back on if you need that small burst of healing and opens up C point for more flexible creatures to be summoned. A Cerberus on B point will offer you more vision into C and allows you to understand and see where the enemy is coming from if they're going to attack your guardian or go under the passageway just at the top of B. On C point I recommend summoning a Bloomer, a Cyclops or a Cerberus. A Bloomer on C will offer you good offences and defensive capabilities going into E and from D or in from E going into D. They allow you to fall back from and initiate on fights because you can heal up and get back in the action faster. Summoning a Cyclops on C will block the passageway into secret. This is that caveway just off the side going by D. This will block the enemy from entering there and it stops them from secretly running around behind you going towards the Guardian. This is only more or less used in phase two. So this is when your Guardian falls back to the right at the back of your base. A Cerberus on C is a very strong pick. It allows you to see enemies coming in from E and enemies coming in from D. Now moving on to the D point. I recommend summoning a Bloomer, a Cyclops or a Cerberus on this point. A Bloomer will offer you heals when you're falling into F or retreating from the enemies at F. A Cerberus will offer you vision on round D and allows you to make plays and to know if the enemy is sneakily advancing on D point or trying to sneak up to your C point. A Cyclops on D is more or less a time sink as it stops one of the passageways into D so it stops snipers like Imani and HK from mounting up and just shooting your creature at D point from the far back in the clash area. Now moving on to E, I recommend summoning a Cyclops or a Bloomer on this point. The Bloomer because it just generally offers healing, something you can initiate from and retreat to. A Cyclops on this point on the other hand will put a wall between their F and your E point which blocks them from attacking and also makes a gateway so they can't retreat and they have to run around the long way just under D. Okay so now moving on to adult summons. So I'll begin off with you want to be upgrading this early on so more or less before clash so you have upgrade this to an adult bloomer a shadow serp a normal cerberus a cyclops yeti or normal is fine and for shits and giggles a storm drake now moving on to b point you mostly want to upgrade this to a cyclops to block the entrance in clash later on at a later date so you don't need to worry about upgrading this early on but it's something to consider to upgrade to now moving on to a point you want to be upgrading this to a bloomer or a cerberus as this is more of a clash upgrade but you want to upgrade it before clash now moving on to D point, you want to be upgrading this to either a Storm Drake, a Yeti or a Cerberus. Your Yeti is probably the best option for this as it blocks a point off on the enemy's side so they can't enter D and it makes it harder for them to get round to your side of the base. Um, a Storm Drake is absolutely devastating on this point and it stops the enemy from basically attacking you. Most of the time you'll probably find yourself using a Shadow Serb or a Cerberus just before Clash but when you go into Clash if you've still got a baby you want to be summoning a Yeti. A uh, Shadow Serp, a Storm Drake. Now moving on to D point, you want to be either upgrading this to an Adult Bloomer or an Adult Cyclops. Either it doesn't really matter, but when going into Clash, you want to make sure you more or less have a 
adult Cyclops or an adult Cerberus on this point. Now I'm going to talk over a general composition for a team fight. As each team is different depending on allies, so you'll be switching this constantly for the allies and enemies you're facing. So you're always going to be moving around with your summons to counter the enemy. So on point A, I always summon a Cerberus here, just for the extra vision. On point B, I always summon a Bloomer here for the extra healing up by C. And on C, I always summon a Cerberus for the extra vision going on to D and to E. Depending on what the enemy composition is, is what point you will control. So you'll either control D or E. Depending if they got Imani, they will control E. If they haven't got Imani, they will control D. But if you both have got mixed, then you're more or less going to be fighting over either one. But yeah. The range will always win over E, while melee will always more or less win over D. So if you're going to take C, I summon a Cyclops, and if you're going to take D, I would summon a Cerberus. Now moving on to adult summons I would take. I would take an A on Bloomer, a B Yeti Cyclops, a C Shadow Serb, D Yeti Cyclops, and on E I would take a General Cyclops. I hope this tips and tricks video helps you out. Not everything's going to work in this video. It depends on the enemy composition and your team's composition, as well as the type of heroes you're playing and the coordination a year ago, and especially in solo queue to competitive, it's all going to be different. But, I hope this helps you understand more about the creatures and the locations where they can be summoned, and what works and what doesn't work. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe and hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!